Hey there Measure Geeks, Julian here, back with another video and today we want to talk about how we can import our UTM information into ConvertKit so we'll have that available in our user profile. Now why would you actually wanting to do something like this? Well imagine a user comes to your website, fills out your newsletter form and you send him a bunch of emails and later he wants to take you up on your offers and buys from you. Now it is possible to see information about the sale and where the sale came from inside of GA4 but the information is limited depending on how long the cookie was available and if the user is actually still being re-identified by GA4. Highly unlikely that you will be able to backtrack and know exactly where the user actually came from or where the purchase actually came from. So a far better way of doing things I think is to attach UTM information directly into the CRM profile of the user. That way if the user converts later on because you sent him some emails you can go back into the user profile and see where the user originally came from when he signed up to your form. So that's what we want to set up today. There are two ways of doing things like this. We are doing the manual way and I'm going to show you how you can do this with Google Tag Manager. This involves a few different steps but we also came up with a new way of doing things and we've developed a little tool which I will tell you about later on and this makes things much much easier. But let's get started and I'll show you what we are building out today. So let's say the user comes to this website here and there is actually UTM information in this URL. So I'm just gonna connect. We'll do this with Google Tag Manager today. So we connect to this URL. We have UTM information in here. This UTM information gets stored in a cookie. And once the user then goes to the ConvertKit form and fills out this information, so the email address, for example, we should then be able to see inside of our subscribers here to this user exactly. And we should be able to see the UTM information that was on the landing page itself. So that's what we're gonna set up today. And there are a few steps involved. We'll use Google Tag Manager to do things. We use hidden form fields and we use first party cookies as well. All in all, a really nice technique in order to spice up our data inside of our CRM. So let's get started setting this up. As a prerequisite, what we would need is obviously our website with our ConvertKit form on it. We also need Google Tag Manager set up on that website. This is a empty account right now and you need to have your ConvertKit open so we'll be able to implement stuff here. Now there are really three steps that we would need to go through. First of all, we need to prepare our form. So it includes something called hidden form fields and we need to have some custom fields so this data can actually flow into the ConvertKit account. The second part is that we then need to prepare our Google Tag Manager so we can pick up that information on the landing page, the UTM information, store it in a cookie. And then once the user goes to the form page later on, we want to take that information from the cookie and fill it into the different form fields. And then we need to test everything. So that's the game plan today. Let's get started setting that up. The first part is to prepare our ConvertKit account and change our forms around. So what we'll do is go into our database of subscribers here and you can open up any random different subscriber that you have and then you want to implement some custom form fields so the data can actually be stored inside of ConvertKit. So what we'll do is click on add new field here and let's go through the most common UTM parameters that we want to store inside of our ConvertKit. So in our case, it would be UTM medium. So here we go, we have filled out all of these forms. These are the most common UTM parameters. There are more out there, but I just opted to go with those right here. If you wanted to fill in more, you could do that. You can also change them around however you want. This is not a naming convention that you need to adhere to, but I think it makes it pretty clear that these are UTM parameters right here. So with that, so I'm gonna click here on update subscriber and now these fields are in there and we can now change our form around to implement actually these fields in the form. So for that, we'll go to landing pages and forms. We'll click on create new. Let's go with a form here and I'm just gonna go with an inline form. This is an HTML form. You need to be able to change the HTML in order to make this technique work. And then we'll be able to choose one of these templates. Let's go with this pine template and here we have our form builder and we can add some custom fields to it so we'll just click on this plus button and i'm going to choose the custom fields that we have set up here one by one so in our case content we have medium 
term and so now they are in here obviously that doesn't look quite nice but i'll show you in a second how we'll be able to hide them so what we're going to do is publish this and now we want to go with the html version very important in order to change them around later on and hide these form fields so i'm going to copy this one and let's enter this into our website itself so here's our old form and i'm going to go to edit page and now replace this with our form right here now when we view the page we see we have all of the utm campaign and so on still in here so what we want to do is actually hide these form fields and we'll do this by looking let's just press ctrl f or command f and put in type and that will show us here the email address is the type email which we want still have the email address in here but then our form fields of utm campaign utm content and medium these are type text and we want to change this into hidden just change this around in this html here so these will be hidden all right that's it let's update this and with this we should see that now our different form fields here are hidden away and we only see the email address so we have these form fields now available in the background we can actually look at them by going into inspect element and we see here this is our email address field but underneath here in the developer tools we see that we have something called utm campaigns and the information is still in here now that we have created our form and hidden the form fields itself we can go ahead and put in the logic in order to grab the information on the landing page and put that into a cookie and second of all then fill that information into our hidden form fields once the user reaches this page and we'll do all this inside of google tag manager so let's go over to google tag manager right here and we are going to create a new tag which is going to be of the type of custom html and this should set a cookie for us. And I've actually created a little script for you that you can just copy. So here we have the script, just copy that script and put that in place of custom HTML. We'll call this all set cookie for our query string and we'll give this a trigger. Now the trigger will only fire once the user actually has UTM information in the URL. So we can go with page view here and only on some page views where the actual page URL contains UTM information like for example UTM medium. Let's put that in. So this is a page view UTM medium. Okay, so what will this actually do? This will simply look into the URL and grab the query string of the URL and put that into a cookie itself. Let's take a look at what this means. I'm going to save this and preview here. So here we have information in the URL about UTM source information. So we are going to connect here and our tag should fire at this point because we have UTM medium inside of the URL. So we'll see here under container loaded our set cookie now fires and what does this actually do well it sets a cookie which we can look at by going into the developer tools here under more tools we have our developer tools and then we can go to application up here and look for our cookies and here we have all of our cookies that have been set and one that we have set particularly is our source query parameter so this is all of the information that is actually inside of the query string which is everything after the question mark that you see up here and there's all of our utm information in here so nothing will be forgotten later on so we have grabbed that information now and once the user goes to the next page for example he goes to this page right here obviously there's no utm information anymore inside of the url but we have that data available now inside in our cookie and can use it later on so when do we want to use it actually when the user goes to this page right here which is our convert kit form and what we want to do is read that information at this stage and then fill it into these hidden form fields that are available in the background. So how do we do this? Well, again, inside of Google Tag Manager, we'll create a new tag, a new tag here, and we're going to go with a custom HTML tag. And from the templates that I've prepared for you, you can copy the second script here and we'll put this right here. So that information is now available. We need to change the script around a little bit because one of the things is that Google Tag Manager needs to know where this information needs to go when we are sending it into the right form field. And for that, you unfortunately need to know a little bit of CSS or can ask a colleague, or you could also go and use the magical powers of your AI tool of choice by maybe going in and copying the 
whole outer HTML here and putting that into a chat GPT or Gemini and asking for the CSS selectors. So we have these different forms here and there is a CSS selector that you could utilize in order for this to be identified by the script and then filled out correctly. And in our case, it's the name field here and it's fields UTM campaign. So we can fill this out here inside of our script. So we have here UTM campaign, for example, and the input put name fields UTM campaign. So we want to be able to select this input field with the name of fields UTM source fields UTM medium and so on. Now in order to change this around again you need to know what do you want to map which UTM parameter do you want to map to which field so put in the UTM parameter here and then the next part would be your CSS selector that needs to be in that form field if you are using a convert kit form you most likely can reuse those but if you're using any kind of other CRM you would need to adjust those to your HTML so just be aware of that and from here you should be able to then change this around and this information will actually pull the information from the cookie itself map the relation between the information in the query string to the actual field and then fill this whole thing out depending on what css selector you have chosen beforehand okay let's call this our form fill for our convert kit form and when should this actually trigger when should we fill out this information well we want to have that available once the page actually has loaded so we are going to press here on plus button and create a new trigger on dom ready and only if the page path in our case it is convert kit form is in the url itself you could utilize other mechanisms of trying to figure out if there's a form on the page so maybe you have it on all the pages obviously you could also deploy this on all the pages that on your website itself but for us we want to do this on dom ready so we are able to know that the form has actually loaded and the page path includes convert kit form so let's put in dom here and convert kit form so let's save this and attach this to our tag and I'll preview this. So here we go. We have our UTM information in here that should now fire first of all our tag that sets our cookie itself which is under container loaded. So set the cookie. Now we are going to navigate over to our target page which is the convert kit form. And now in the background, everything should be filled out. We can actually now go back into our inspect element here and change the fields just temporarily, just for us to see if it's being filled correctly by changing around the type here it's hidden. I'm going to change this into text and voila, our field should reappear again. And here we can see this has been filled out in the background itself. So once the user then decides, okay, we're gonna go back to hidden and the user fills out this form field, sends the information off. We should then see this inside of our ConvertKit subscriber list. I don't have double opt-in here, so we'll be able to see this actually second test right here. And here we can see all the information has now been filled out automatically depending on what was in the original URL. So we have here UTM source newsletter, email, summer and mobile. And that should actually map quite nicely to these fields. And now we have all the UTM information inside of our CRM. And if the user converts later on, we'll be able to backtrack and know where he actually came from. Don't forget if you want to make this into something permanent on your website, you need to publish this and submit this as a version right here and then publish it to all of your users so it goes live on your website itself. So as you can see, I think this is a really nice technique in order to import your UTM information into your ConvertKit. Although it might be a little bit convoluted because you need to set up the form fields, you need to be able to know the right CSS selectors and deal with a bunch of JavaScript inside of Google Tag Manager, but it's doable. Yet, I wanna let you know about a new tool that we have developed called SourceLink. With SourceLink, you will be able to do this really easily in just a few steps. All you need to do is to 
sign up to our platform there you need to put in your api key for your convert kit and then we can go in and create all of the different custom form fields that you want inside of convert kit itself from there you just need to install a script maybe through google tag manager for example and we'll then grab the information about where the user came from and connect it to your convert kit account so that actually happens without needing to change any forms around in the background itself and then all of this is synced up and will be running smoothly from there so the setup really just takes a few minutes and you get some really rich and rewarding data later on on your convert kit account so if you're interested we are building a beta list right now we'll have a link down below that you can sign up to this one as well if you want to test it out but for now i hope you enjoyed this little video on how to import our utm information into convertkit if you liked it give us a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet now my name is julian till next time